Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Walking, jogging, yoga and strength training may elevate symptoms of depression. A review study published in the BMJ on 14th February 2024 suggests that walking or jogging, yoga and strength training appear to be the most effective exercises for easing depression. Whether used independently or in conjunction with established treatment like psychotherapy and medication. Even low intensity activities such as walking or yoga are beneficial. But the results show that the more vigorous the activity, the greater the benefits are likely to be. The World Health Organization estimates that more than 300 million people worldwide have depression. Exercise is often recommended alongside psychotherapy and drugs, but treatment guidelines and previous evidence reviews disagree on how to prescribe exercise to the best treatment depression. To address this uncertainty, researchers searched databases for randomized trials that compared exercise as a treatment for depression with established treatment such as SSRI, antidepressants, cognitive behavioral therapy, active control such as usual care, placebo tablets, or the untreated controls. They found that 218 relevant trials involving 14,170 participants with depression for analysis. Each trial was assessed for bias in the type, intensity and frequency of each exercise intervention was recorded. Other potentially influential factors such as participants' sex, age, baseline levels of depression, existing condition and differences between groups were also taken into account. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Targeting the microenvironment may be the key to healing injured hearts. A study recently published in Nature Cardiovascular Research has revealed a remarkable discovery that may have far-reaching implications for the treatment of heart disease. Heart disease remains a leading cause of death worldwide, with myocardial infraction, also known as heart attack, causing irreparable damage to cardiac muscle cells. While current treatment focuses on elevating symptoms and improving blood flow, they fall short in addressing the crucial issue of lo lost cardiomyocytes CMs, leading to further complications such as heart failure. The study reveals that regeneration of CMs require a complex microenvironment, where a dynamic synergy between CMs, resident immune cells and cardiac fibroblast is the driving force behind cardiac renewal. Through intricate signaling mechanisms, these cell types coordinately instruct and support each other, facilitating CM proliferation and effectively repairing damaged heart tissue. 42% of dental students spend 8 hours on their phone daily. In a recent study conducted among dental students in Hyderabad and Ranga Reddy district, it was discovered that 42% of participants exhibited smartphone addiction. This addiction was associated with lower sleep quality and decreased mental well-being. Published in the journal Clinical Epidemiology and Global Health, was led by researchers Turanga Sai, Shushmita, S. Jagadiswara Rao and Dola Doshi from Government Dental College and Hospital in Hyderabad, it involved 427 undergraduate dental students and revealed that the main reason for smartphone usage was social networking, particularly among adult addicts. Addicts tended to use smartphones more at night, while non-addicts use them more in the evening, said the researchers. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.